watching my channel, I can assure that you love filmmaking and you are asking yourself, can you actually make money with that? Can you pay your bills with filmmaking? In today's video, I want to share the golden bucket behind of the rainbow of a filmmaker's life. You okay with me? Hey. And I'll answer the question, how to make money as a beginner filmmaker. So let's jump right in. Hello, my name is Jamini and I'm a fellow filmmaker who watches so, so many videos like that until I started making money with filmmaking. I live in three different countries, Brazil, that is where I'm from. I live in the United States and now I live in Canada, Toronto, and all those countries I need to start from scratch to start making money as a filmmaker because I was in a different place and I need to do different connections so I'm gonna share some advice with you and you can do it in your filmmaker life even if it's a part-time or full-time thing for you whenever you know a little bit of exposure and you're very confident with basic edits on premiere that's the sweetest moment when you can start to slowly build your business and I'm pretty sure that you watch the latest cameras videos or whatever gear if you're a gear minded person but with this video I want to say that it's very important to know about selling and pricing as well pricing is a skill that you're gonna learn and it's not easy you're gonna do it wrong you're gonna do it right and you gotta keep trying because once you get it you're gonna kill it of making money as a filmmaker you possibly know someone that is not very good with their videos but they can charge very good pricing on that and the opposite that might be you or someone you know Know, that makes amazing videos have technical perfect excellence on making their videos but they're not very good on charging or selling that and the biggest difference is the one that charges more learn it very well the art of pricing and the one that charges less probably was very focused on making a very good video and didn't think much about the business sides of selling and pricing their videos so for you to start making money as a filmmaker you need to learn how to be a good seller you need to have some business skills to learn how to deal with contracts, clients, and all the managing of filmmaking. And those are some important lessons that I want to bring along on this channel. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe to this channel because I'm going to bring a lot of good information for you. No filmmaker will make good money if you don't know how to sell, not even selling for a client specific. Sometimes if you're applying for a job opportunity, you need to sell yourself for the HR people in a job interview, for example. And the first idea I want to share with you to be a great seller is believe on yourself and believe on your capacity to learn and to make something happen. You need to believe in yourself more than you believe in your skills. And I'll share a story that's going to explain everything. Once I was looking for my first filmmaking job, that was back when I was doing film school. I was looking for an internship and I did 10 interviews. When I was on those interviews, I looked to everyone and basically everybody looked like me. They were in the middle of a film school they had some sort of experience very small experience so it was very hard to put myself in a different way so the way I learned doing those interviews is that I need to sell myself better so I started to learn more about communication and some psychology to talk with people and deal with people right when I got my first job and I was on my first week working there I was a video editor that just used Premiere to do some small commercials for this company and one day the boss came to me and she asked like can you make an animation of a clock kind of doing a timer of this hair product commercial and I was like whoa I don't know how to open after effects I don't know how this shit works but okay let me say yes and see what's up so yeah I said yes I can do it then I opened a tutorial on my phone I put on my lap under my table I was doing the tutorial to see where I would end up and guess what I did the shitty clock on After Effects it was my first animation ever but it worked perfectly fine for what they wanted sometimes you're gonna accept that very hard challenge that you're not gonna be very sure if you can take it or not but you need to believe in yourself and your capacity to learn something new in a quick amount of time if you're a person that is very self-taught that person that learns stuff on YouTube I'm pretty sure you can do this if you practice and put your time and head to it to make it happen. Okay, if believing in yourself is the first tip, 
What is the second tip? Have your video out there. If your video is inside of your pocket or inside of your hard drive, you're not gonna find any clients and you're not gonna make money with that. So please, please, please post your video on Instagram, post your video on a Vimeo channel, make a good website, make an amazing portfolio because that means being ready for whenever opportunity comes. If somebody sits with you to have a lunch and is a very good potential client and you don't have a video to just show and display and show what you know, you're gonna miss that opportunity. So you gotta have your video ready, able to show anyone, anytime. And that's why having a website, a portfolio or Instagram as a display of your work is very important. Knowing that, let's go to the next lesson. Number three, use very good people skills. People skills is very important. If a client saw your video on Instagram or in your portfolio and send you a message saying that they might be interested in having you or hiring you to be with him, the next thing you need to know is how to talk with that person. It's very easy and hard at the same time because the wrong move can make you lose that opportunity. I told in my other video and I repeat again, just be a nice human, be a nice person, don't be very robotic, just do normal questions try to understand exactly the video or exactly your client's problem because you are a filmmaker you need to fix that problem with a video and the way you're gonna achieve that is with a great communication with your client sometimes before jumping already in the pricing and how much you want for that you can try to understand their business you can try to understand their idea because if they are coming to you to have some sort of help they probably put a lot of passion and a lot of love on their business in the same way that you're doing it with if you watching this video right so please give some attention give some ears make a video call do some calls be a very good listener after you acting as a very good listener and collecting all the points you need for making your video that's when you are able to speak and bring your ideas along and to sell yourself and how can you contribute with your skills to make that video a possibility your first interaction with the client is almost like a dance. You gotta play with the flow, be very flexible. In the first moment, it's gonna be very hard to understand the client's steps in his dance versus your steps in your dance until you guys kind of find each other in the same flow. That is gonna be the creation that you're gonna do for their business. For me, as a video editor freelance, anytime I have a new client that comes to me, it's very hard to achieve what the client wants in my first video or my first cut. It's almost like going back and forth and communicating and sharing ideas and doing some more research until we get a point that I already can read my client's mind without having him to say a lot of things to me. So just be very flexible and patient with the process. So if you learn one lesson or two with this video, I ask you to please share this video with somebody else, like it, comment and subscribe to this channel because I want to bring a lot of information to help your life as a filmmaker to make a lot of money so that was it for today i hope you have a great rest of your day and peace